All right, the people's main event is finally here. Charles Oliveira versus Boniel Darius. Obviously, this fight was supposed to happen last month, but got delayed. There was an injury on Charles Oliveira's side that kind of prevented this fight from happening, but it's finally here. Luckily, it didn't get delayed too long. And this is a fight that doesn't necessarily have a title on the line, but it definitely has a potential title shot on the line, depending on what happens with Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje. And if Volkanovski loses his fight to Yair Rodriguez, which is possible, seeing Yair Rodriguez is a huge threat. And if Charles Oliveira wins this fight, he might get a title shot. That's just how it's gonna go and if Benil wins this he's more than likely going to get a title shot there's a lot on the line for the winner of this fight especially for Benil Dariush because I think he'll most likely get the title shot next if he wins but regardless he needs to win this fight and that's not easy because Charles Oliver despite losing his last fight to Islam Makachev has a hard task in front of him but we're gonna get into that in this video what's up guys welcome back to a brand new video if you guys are new to the channel hit the subscribe button like comment and share and so many of you guys watch the channel and don't subscribe as I always say please hit the subscribe button we have a goal 12k by the end of the month we're trying to hit 12 12k we're at 11k thousand subscribers in a month and we're trying to hit 20k by the end of the year let's try to hit the goal i believe in you guys i know you guys can you guys always be subscribing so just hit the subscribe button i see the analytics i know some of you guys don't even subscribe despite watching every video but enough boring you guys without further ado let's just get into this video all right charles Oliveira, but you know now you guys will know i'm a huge charles Oliveira fan but regardless i could pick a fight unbiasedly because i pretty much picked charles Oliveira to lose in like every single fight but he's got benio darius in front of him and look a lot of people rolled off benio when he was going up against Mateus Nicolau because Mateus Nicolau yes is a young up-and-coming guy a lot of people consider him a big prospect a lot of people think that he might be a champion one day and Benio Darius basically just destroyed him three rounds I think he 30 27 maybe Mateus went around but Benio Darius said hey even though I'm the older guy I still run things I'm still good and he's just showing that he's a very high level fighter what impresses me most is his takedown defense I'm curious how that'll play out in a fight with Islam he also has crazy jiu-jitsu he was a black belt in just five years Benio Darius is the real deal but so is Charles Oliveira. We obviously know, you know, the guy could take punishment, gets dropped, gets back up, drops his opponent, submits his opponents. The guy is a finisher. He finishes all of his opponents and he just puts himself on the line. He moves forward, uses that lead teep to, you know, kind of pressure his opponents backwards, hit him to the body, knees to the body. The guy is a classic Muay Thai slash Jiu Jitsu fighter. Now, how do I see a fight between him and Benio Darius taking place? Now, this fight is three rounds, which I think is kind of important. I could kind of see this going to a decision. First of all, I'm going to say what I think the game plan should be. I think if you're Charles Oliveira, you really need to pressure Benio. Darius because if you look at a few of his fights you know if you look at the Michael Johnson fight Michael Johnson was pressing him backwards and Benil Darius's activity just kind of dropped he has a really good jab that I could see affecting Charles Oliveira he did win that fight but it was a really close split decision arguably you could say Michael Johnson won the fight and I think it's necessary for Charles Oliveira to really push Benil Darius another thing that really worries me about this matchup for Charles Oliveira is his head movement it's always been a problem for me I've always said Charles Oliveira has bad head movement and that's because you know a lot of Muay Thai fighters they're used to bigger gloves so a lot of them train not really moving their head like boxers would but they have big gloves so they don't really work on head movement too much nor are they really used to it in sparring because they're not really getting hurt from those punches if they're blocking with those big gloves charles Oliveira has improved a lot though in the justin gaethje fight i was impressed with his head movement even against islam makachev he did get hit with a straight left hand but other than that he was really slipping that left hand really good another thing that worries me for charles Oliveira is the fact that he's taken a lot of damage he got dropped by islam makachev dropped twice by justin gaethje dropped like three times against dustin Poirier, he dropped three times against michael Chandler and that is just in his last few fights like the guy has taken a lot of damage plus this injury plus just a long career of over 40 fights that's kind of what worries me about this matchup but what does Benil Dariush have to do to win I think Benil should definitely try to incorporate some grappling definitely get some takedowns steal some rounds that way maybe control Charles Oliveira in side control but we saw that Islam Akachev even had trouble controlling a guy like Charles Oliveira so it is going to be rather difficult however I think you should try to get the takedown kind of use that to kind of steal some rounds get some control time and I think if you're Benil Darius, you really should throw that straight left hand because, like I said, Islam Makachev was able to catch Charles Oliveira with a straight left hand. And while I think Islam Makachev is an underrated striker, by no means is he like this unbelievable striker. So I think for the most part, you could probably catch Charles Oliveira, especially if you're Benio Darius. And we saw his massive overhand left in his last fight against Mateus Gamro. Oh, and when you look at Mateus Gamrud, I mean, this is a guy who's pretty young in his career, hasn't taken as much damage as someone like Charles Oliveira, and you can see that he is able to drop him. Like, it's definitely way harder to drop fresh guys that haven't taken a lot of damage and knock them out than it is, you know, against a guy that has taken a lot of damage who has been dropped in his last few fights. So basically, what I'm trying to get out is if that punch lands on Charles Oliveira, I guarantee you Charles is going down. And that's what worries me, because like I said, I think this fight can go to a decision, and if Charles Oliveira could even survive at the same time, he got knocked down. He lost the round. But enough going back and forth, I think it's time 
time for my prediction and my prediction might surprise you guys so i see in the first round charles oliverino coming out pressure forward throwing that jumping front kick he does pushing benio dariush back and i imagine he does have some success but i think early into the round like i'm talking within the first two minutes one minute he's gonna get dropped by benio dariush and i'm curious to see does benio dariush let charles oliver get back up or does he go down to the ground with charles Oliveira? this is very important because charles oliver has been dropped a lot but hasn't been finished because when you look at the guys he's fought like justin gaethje or dustin poirier they didn't want to go to the ground with him to follow up on ground and pound we only saw michael chandler really do that and obviously islam got the submission but he didn't really finish him via tko so i'm a little worried if he's going to try to finish him on the ground and knock out charles Oliveira because this is something that charles Oliveira isn't used to he isn't used to people following up on the ground so i think if you're charles Oliveira, you got to really expect that but i do think that regardless but neil Dariush will win the first round and i think when we get into the second round i think we're going to see charles Oliveira really take over throw knees to the body and i think knees to the body are definitely going to be a story in this fight i think that benil Darius is going to get hit with a lot of knees get tired out i think we're going to see the pressure of charles Oliveira really take a toll on benil Darius, and i think we're going to see him gas a little bit and then in the third round i think we're going to see charles Oliveira do pretty well here and i think we might actually see charles Oliveira finish benil Darius. now i know what you guys are saying jack you might be crazy but neil Darius is going to win there's a lot of question marks and normally when i break down a fight it's pretty clear cut what i think a fighter's game plan is going to be i have no idea what benil Darius is going to come in and game plan against charles Oliveira. i have no idea what he's thinking is he going to take it to the ground is he going to stand up and strike with them because charles Oliveira has crazy jujitsu but so does benil Darius. i think benil should probably go to the ground with him i think that's his best chance at winning i think if he does that he'll most likely win because i think charles Oliveira is extremely dangerous and we know he has power he dropped justin gaethje and justin gaethje just went three rounds with rafael fazia but i do have a feeling a little bit that this fight will be on the feet and if it goes to the feet i got charles Oliveira, but i think there might be some scary moments on the feet with benil Darius dropping charles Oliveira. it's bound to happen but that's my prediction i'm leaning towards charles Oliveira. i feel like benil Darius won't go to the ground with him too much especially i think with the pressure of charles Oliveira, i think we're gonna see benil Darius have low output i'm going with charles Oliveira. that's my final decision but it can go either way it really depends i could be very wrong because benil Darius should come out with a totally different game plan but that's just my opinion and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below who do you guys think is going to win this fight between charles Oliveira and benil Darius? let's be real this card isn't good but this fight is definitely carrying this is a fight that i'm super excited about i think it's going to be a really fun fight i do like benil Darius, and i wouldn't mind him getting a win because he does deserve a title shot but i think you got to imagine that a lot is on the line for charles Oliveira here if he loses we don't know when he's going to get a title shot next and another thing i want to talk about is the hunger of charles Oliveira because we've seen this guy be a superstar in brazil like he has literally turned his life around it's literally huge in brazil like a superstar level you gotta wonder is he really hungry does he really want to go to the gym and train and be a world champion he's already achieved greatness he's already achieved superstardom he's already achieved people like me liking him despite not even knowing what he's saying like the guy has made it you gotta wonder does he really want to go in there and fight the best of the best i think so i think charles Oliveira is hungry i think he wants to beat benil darius i think he wants that win against islam makachev back because he looked devastated after that loss you could really see it in his eyes and you could just see from his whole demeanor definitely really broken up about the loss and honestly no bullshit i'm rooting for charles Oliveira. i'm a big charles Oliveira fan i know you guys might be mad saying i'm biased but trust me i have literally said that every single fight that charles Oliveira is going to lose but this one so who knows we'll see but thank you guys for watching i think that's gonna wrap up this video i'm gonna make an amanda nunez versus irene aldana video but i'm sure you guys already know why i'm not rushing to do that thank you guys for watching like i said we're almost at 12k subscribers so if you guys could just chip in hit the subscribe button 20k by the end of the year so let's get to subscribing thank you guys for watching please share this video with the subscribe button like comment and share and i'll see you guys in the next one